Hello, my name is Tim Wilson. I have to show you a tour that I took of Paul Bond Boot Company. The description will be the below, in the, in the description below. <laughs> Sorry for that. Uh, but they make custom made boots. They have been making custom made boots for about 50 years now. And the reason why I picked them out is because I saw this video on YouTube about how they, how they actually sit you down and they actually make, um, they make the mold of your feet. So that got me really interested. And I called them up and I asked them a few questions. The, the gentleman who, who was working for me was very nice. He was very, uh, he was very much like a, a tailor would be. So I went over to Tucson, uh, not Tucson, um, New Gales, Arizona, and I had to stay for several days. They actually had to um, custom, well, actually it took like one day, but a full day. So they they sit you down, they, they, they measure your feet, they do all the stuff. It's like getting a, a custom-made suit for you. They actually measure your measure your feet and measure your 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 entire foot so, and then they and then they make a mold <clears throat> out of wood or clay depending on what you like depending on what you want and it would take a month and a half to actually put together and the product will be delivered to you the boot that I got has TW with a little uh, four holes on each boot and it has a a quite eloquent um seam on the top of the boot and i will show you on my other video that i have paul bond boots 2. the the boots are quite expensive but you get the quality and you get the craftsmanship also um they they generally run in a price range of 700 dollars I've seen them as low as six hundred dollars if they're on sale. To three thousand dollars, they are quite expensive. I, I I said that recently, but they are quite expensive. But you get the craftsmanship, you get the the actual handmade design. They actually, if you so, if you so wish, they will actually sew. They will actually stitch it, hand stitched. Um, images on for you or letters on for you. I got TW and um, the TW stands for Tim Wilson or <laughs> Trump wins or Trump won. <laughs> so, and Trump always wins in my book. Always wins in my book. So um, I'm going to show you all that in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you liked it. Dislike it. Hit that dislike button if you didn't like it. Hit the subscribe button. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye. One more thing that I'd like to point out before I uh, show you the video is that this individual who was taking me on a tour does not like to be filmed. So I had to put my camera down. Take a picture of that right there. That, that, that inlay. That's a pretty good thing. See, that's how it's going to look on yours, Tim, right there. Yeah? Yeah, All but right, TW, nice. though. Very nice. Um, uh, he also makes you like your pull straps, um, tops, tops, yeah. You'll cut, the, you'll cut the leather, you essentially can cut the leather, cut the, you know, the exotics. Uh, these are very delicate, so they need to cut it a proper way, so take a look at that. So they need to cut that a certain way. Okay. So he handles all of that as well. Very nice. Yeah. So not, not anyone is equipped to cut this type of leather. I, 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 I didn't record all those. So. Yeah, go ahead. Take your time, Tim. That's all the last right there. Yeah. You can see. It's great, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, you have different shapes. Uh, Mikey will build yours. Yeah, yeah. And it depends on that heel height as well, how tall you're going. Yeah. If you're going short on the heel, you're going tall, and then the, the toe as well.
Yeah. So you're, you're gonna have more, your lash is gonna have more of a rounded toe. This okay. one has more of a pointed, as you can see. Very nice. Yeah. You get that pattern. I don't know if Tim told you, but you get the pattern. Yeah. Of what you're getting, and they'll draw out your TW on there, which is wow. really cool. And for me, or either the, the next gentleman we're gonna walk by to, we'll do your Yinle work, your TW and brown. <laughs> Well, I, I'm not gonna record you. So no, it's fine. You can. It's, it's fine. Please. All right. Go Just ahead. Who's happy. next? Uh, the next one would be Ramon. No. Uh, uh, Eric. We'll go with Eric. Yeah, but Eric's not here. Oh, Eric. Eric does the same thing right here. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, this gentleman. He does the cutting of the leathers. He does the Okay. Uh, he works on it. He does that inlay as well. how cool that is. I mean, they do the inlay. You know, people have brands, like on branches and stuff, the brand. So they want to inlay it inside, on their boot, essentially. So that's what we do. You know, this gentleman wanted initials on his pull straps instead of his shaft. Okay. So we'll put them on the pool. <laughs> so, guys, the love it, really. So these are the toes. Yeah. All right. Yes, we do. Geo. The toes are hand crafted. So they put a piece of leather on top of the lining, with this, which is this right here. Yeah. And they'll shape it to whatever you know the desired shape of the actual toe is. This is gonna be a pointed toe, so it comes comes out a little bit. Okay. Uh, obviously the round. These are the round toes right there. Those are the round versions. Alright. Which is, all of our toes are made out of leather. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. That stingray, take a look at that. Wow. Touch it. Feel it. Feel that boot on the stingray. Uh, I, I saw some uh, down there. It's a great feeling, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's, it's probably our most durable leather. Yeah. Uh, it's really very hard to gouge. Okay. And it, that's the eye, that's the calcium eye. Got that eye right there. That's probably made for a uh, rattlesnake. Oh yeah, you, know, you can't get you can't get you know rattlesnake. If you can see the initials on the full straps. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, that's a good idea going with the initials on your on your boots. Yeah. Uh, so after uh, Gio, uh, he, he's the one who does all the toes basically. Um, here at this station, uh, why don't he's actually does like the stitching. He does. Uh, he actually does quite a bit in his own spot here. Um, specifically him. Let's see. Uh, he does your side seams. Uh, so that would be the, this right here. So you can see the side seams right here. He does all that right here. Okay. Um, he does your stitching. Uh, he also does like special pull straps with the boots and photos. Yeah. Um, and Big video of that. He's, he's actually like, skiving down the excess on that on that side seat. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Awesome work. Yeah. As you can see, awesome work. Thank you. Yeah, okay. the for you. Uh, he actually this this gentleman also. Where do I know? He actually sews this together. Sews that in there. Yeah. Wow. Well, I pointed to the top. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He's doing a good job. Yeah, he's doing a good job. Sorry. Sorry. All right. All right. I'm sorry. Uh, so, if you were named, uh, he actually uh, stretches your leather. Uh, what, what do you call that? Well, it's crimping. They call it crimping. Yeah, crimping. So, they would crimp your leather. Um, <clears throat> and, and does it look like how, uh, how thick leather is? Yeah. Yeah, he, he does it in any of them. Uh, he'll print on any leather that's also attached to your hide as well. Okay. So he actually prints both sides. Uh, with that, Renee just makes sure that it, that it's, it gives you like that. Uh, like it's like it, it's like breaking in your leather for you. Yeah. So that way it gives you know that that feeling that it's been worn. It's, it's because normally what he does is he treats it with like a little bit of water, 
as we all know, leather shrinks with water. So he just crimps it, stretches it out, makes sure that it's pliable to use it on food. Okay. Um, throughout the whole process, we actually check to make sure that the leather is good, and it's not breaking, and it's, it's still in its high quality when we first got it. Yeah. Um, and after that, it goes back to our production manager. <laughs> Uh, what he does is he wants to make sure that all this is connected correctly. After it's connected correctly, you know, we, we want to make sure that, that uh, he's the only one that really knows how to do that. So he makes sure that it's, it's straight, that, that he won't step it too far, too out, um, and then when we, once we're done, we get your wooden mold, and then we stretch it over. Um, this is after it's done crimping, right? Eliozar is the one who does this. Yeah, they put that they put that foot on top of that shaft in a certain way and according to your heel measurement. Because you don't want a boot to be obviously leaning too forward. Mm -hmm. As you can say, as you know it, you don't want a boot to be leaning too back either. Yeah. So they have to put this vamp onto the shaft a certain way. Okay. Alright? And Eliozar is the only one who knows how to yeah. do that. Yeah. Our production manager is the only guy that knows how to do that. Can you believe that? Same in Texas. Woo! <laughs> yeah, it's in Texas and then Come on over here. I didn't show you this right here. Oh, yeah. These are the 2X. This is the 2X. This is the number 4. See how the difference? So they'll get you last. And by doing that, they'll determine how to put that, that vamp on there. So they'll put the vamp on here and they'll dictate, you know, where to set it on there. Which oh, is really cool. Nice. So when, when they finally put the heel, your vamp is not going to be all the way down here. Yeah. <laughs> so it's going to be right there where it needs to be. And according to your heel, and number four heel, so depending on that heel height, okay? Very cool. I forgot to show you that. So then from there, you go onto the mounting. mounting. You can wait. That's yeah, that's, that's when they put the, your boot on top of your last. Okay. Then you'll be able to see it down there. Go ahead down there. And that goes with myself, right? Yeah. Yeah. Gives you better, uh, now that you research the uh, same food, gives you a better idea as to how we do our food. I mean, make our food, right? Yeah. As you can see right here, well, before we go in there, your, your boots will essentially look like this. They'll be ready for mounting. Okay. And they're accompanied by a leather insole, which is very cool. The leather insole goes like this. So the leather insole goes in, pretty much inside the boot. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and in there and see how they do it. Get on in there. So after that, um, there he's doing one. Uh, take a look. He's doing. He's mounting a pair right there. That's how they mount it right there. Wow, we. I know, right? It's. You can, they, they accompany it with brass nails in the back. Obviously, when it rains, you don't want your boot to be rotten yeah. after a, a week on that rain. Uh, so they put that brass nails in the back of the heel, as mm -hmm. you can see. So he, he keeps, he, and he keeps going. And he, as you can see right here, this is your leather insole. So he shapes it to the size of uh, the, the actual width of the um, laps. This one has no patches nor anything, so it's a stock size. So you'll, you'll actually form it around there, skype it down. This little uh, engraving he does on the leather insole is for the welt. Okay? Yeah. We'll show, that, that'll be the next step. As you can see, <laughs> TW right there. It's, 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 it's like already yours. made, huh? Yeah. <laughs> this is how yours is going to look. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. All right, very nice. <laughs> So, then from there it goes on to the wall. Yeah, Tim Wilson's going. <laughs> you need it. See, this, this move is waiting for you so you can see the TW is going to look on your boot. Yeah. So, you can see, man, it's, it's phenomenal. Actually, look, look. See it. No, pedal. No, pedal. Yeah, you already saw the toes, right? How they make it? Yeah, go with it. Go with it. Uh, looks similar to that. Um, after he's done stretching your leather over your last and your wooden mold and everything, he actually puts on your heel and your outsole. So that way, in the end, it looks like that. So, what he'll do is, you know, he'll, he'll have this right here. 
uh, needs to shut down and then he'll start building your field. This is when we start building your field. Uh, he, may, he cuts off excess leather. Um, he does a cross stitch that looks like. Hey, what's wrong, Tim? All right, they put that wealth on it. Did, did you tell? Yeah. Just the wealth. And then I was looking for one that does like a the cross stitch. Oh, the cross stitch? Nah, they don't have these. Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. Not quite. Well, yeah. <laughs> You're doing great. Okay. Yeah, see, you're doing just, just great. So they put the outsole. They put that leather outsole. That's next. Accompanied with the shank. With the shank is going to be in here. Um, and then from there, I think... I think that... Oh, there you go. There you go. That's that cross-stitch you do on there. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the shank goes right in there. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Put now, that do they shank. nail that down? Is that the one that... Yeah, put that nail in there and put that shank. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, it's there. <laughs> This gentleman, and then they put that, they put that outsole. They put that outsole. Yeah. Look, they put that outsole. They, 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 they put the pegs in it. I'm going to show you how they do that peg. Oh, the pegs. I'm going to show you what that this guy's got right now. All right. Let me put the pegs. A gentleman sits there, and he hammers in pegs all day, uh, along with brass nails. Wow. The brass nails are for the work boot. The, uh, the, a customer may ask for brass nails at their custom orders, but they have to request them. We don't actually put them in there for them. So then from there, the wood pegs are individually put in there. All in there. Let me see if I can find one. I'll be right back. There you go. You can see, you can barely see those wood pegs in there. Yeah. So, okay, so a gentleman sits there, hammers away all those pegs. There. As you can see, this is a leather stack heel. So your heel will be stacked in layers and layers of leather. The one with that three heel is one and five base. Yeah. But this is a three inch heel. Bring you up there. Yeah. Tall girl. It's a man. It's a manly man. So layer by layer, you will start to shake this heel. As you can see, he does this door right there. You can see right there. Yeah, putting that heel up. These are ready for heel. You can see all those pegs right there. You can barely see them, but I mean, they're pegs. Yeah. So it's rows of rows of pegs. There's two rows on each side of pegs. Very cool. Then from there, they'll go sand it down. Go, go ahead and take a look at this gentleman over here. <laughs> take a look, he's sanding down the heel. Take a video, no problem. Sand down the heel, the shape of the, the actual heel he shows, which is the number three, number two, two X, what have you. Yeah. He's taking the toe over there. He's working on that leather toe box. Well, then from there, once it's done, they dye it. So they put that dye on there. 
and it looks like this. It has a dye, they clean it up, buff it out, and then it's time for clean. The good, the cool part. This is the outfit here. Mm -hmm. Does that cost more than I ordered or the, the opener? It does. Yeah. Well, but uh, the bison is just as tough. The the, 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 the price is how much the difference? 400. Okay. But the the bison, the bison is just as tough as this. Okay. So you get your money. Alright. Yeah. This is there to take off all those nails, to clean them up. And what's on to the next part? This is actually Tim's area. He should be explaining this part. You clean them, what do you think? Yeah, uh, clean them, we take, we remove your last, uh, the wooden mold that, that uh, you stole sure. inside of them. Go. He's going to show you how to take out the last. Because obviously you want to know how you take that wooden last so, inside out of there, right? Yeah. So we still have exactly. wooden mold in there. As you can see, the, the last is still in there. Yeah. Okay. But how do you take it out, right? <laughs> It's yeah. every, that's every question once we get to the end of it. Well, how do you take that thing out? Yeah. Tim's going to show you a demonstration. So you get that hook. So we get a hook. Yeah. Looks like this. And inside, there's little holes that we have to find in there. Yeah. So once we find... As you can see, all the craftsmen put in their nails, they put in everything in there. So there's, you know, nails, there's pegs, stuff is still sticking through. Yeah. So this is, you know, also my station. So what we do is we use tools, uh, we, you know, snip those nails off, we sand them down. Uh, we actually have to sand them down by hand yeah. to make sure that, you know, there's no pegs, there's no nothing sticking out that can come out and poke you, make it uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, and then we put in a heel pad. So it looks something like that. It's cut to a general size. Looks something like this. Yeah. We scribe the ends down. Uh, we make sure it's of good quality. Make sure that it doesn't tear, it doesn't rip, or anything like that. Um, and then you know we, we, we get a, a glue. We glue it in there. Make sure it's nice, dry, and secure, and that nothing will happen to it. <coughs> After that, we clean it up. We remove all this glue. Um, I know it's kind of hard to see, but there, there's usually a little bit of glue on here, so we just kind of make sure that it looks nice, even, clean, you know. And then after that, we take it over here, and then we treat. Um, so depending on your measurements, you know, it could be... We tree it? Yeah, we call it treeing. Um, we're putting it on the wood. <laughs> wood. Um, so what we do is we put it in the wood, and once you're while you're treating it what this does is it stretches to your measurements to your cut um, we make sure that you know this that you can still make the turn that you know during the, the production uh, you know leather gets wet it shrinks it gets you know stretched yeah. so what we want to do is hopefully shrink because they're only wet so what we want to do is we want to stretch it to your measurements. So we'll stretch your calf, uh, we'll stretch your throat here, and then we put in uh, three pieces, four pieces, I'm sorry. So let's just say you wear a size 10 or something close to it. Mm -hmm. we put that in there, that goes in there. And then we get two pieces uh, that look like this. Okay. Two pieces that go like this. So it sits on it like this. Inside your shoe, as you can see, you can see how it's kind of forming in your boot. Yeah. And really then cool. the final piece that we put in there is looks obviously like a paddle. I don't know if you were around <laughs> back in the days like that, but yeah, like a paddle. And while it's in the boot, we 
shove this in there, and we go all the way down, and that's how we stretch. Um, if it comes out a little under, or it's not stretching it far enough, So that way we can give you the, you know, the boot that that is obviously custom, but as well as uh, make sure that it fits comfortably, that there's no issues, that you, know, you can make the turn, and then from there we can yeah. start building. It. After that, we ship it out, and or pick it up, depending on what the customer wants to do. Uh, we ship it out. Anything else? <laughs> yeah. Then we do a follow-up call with you and make sure everything's good. Like we said, the sky's the limit. You can have donkey, you can have whatever you'd like around here. Round, regular, double scallop. I've seen someone do a four inch scallop. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds pretty far down. Great tour, right? Oh, yeah, it's a great tour. It gives you a better perspective. I know you own this on our website, so you think, well, how do they make those boots, right? <laughs> and, and it's all.